My name is David Beauregard. I work for Kansas City Power and Light in Kansas City, Missouri. I've been teaching art at the Weston High School on Thursdays. My work uh, sponsors me. I primarily work with uh, youth at risk or uh, special need kids or if there's other kids there that want to do a painting, we'll, we'll work them in also. Uh, you can call me Super Dave or the Painter Guy or something like that. Uh, just call me something, okay? The, the people here in the shop, the, the electric shop, I'm an electrician. They tease me and say, I, I finger paint with the kids. But anyway, we do oil paintings, and this is the prep for uh, painting number one. You've got to get this prep down or you won't be able to do that painting as easy as I made it look, okay? This is Bob Ross made, made Easy by Dave, okay? Uh, you can go to my website and check out the kids' artwork. It's uh, ICanDrawPortraits.com. That's ICanDrawPortraits.com. Click on the student art there and check it out. And teachers, that's why I'm making this video so people can learn how to do this. The results I get are outstanding. I work one-on-one -on -one with the kids, one kid a week. Anyway, when we enter their paintings every show, they sweep every time, first, second, third, fourth place. And I've been doing this for 20 years, so uh, check this out. This is just the prep work. I'll just go ahead and get started on it. All right, what we got here is 22 by 28 canvas from uh, Hobby Lobby. All right, uh, I get them on sale. When they're 30% off, I go buy them all. My work pays for it, but I try to save them money. What I'm putting on here is I'm using acrylic paint here. It's Apple Barrel or that Rose Art, Rose Art paint. Or if you want to get uh, a little better, get uh, black gesso. It's all the same thing. This is the only acrylic paint that I use, and I use a very thin coat. The painting is all done with oils, but this is just to get the canvas uh, black first. And that's what we like to start with. The kids kind of taught me this. to use these darker paints and it's kind of fun. But use a thin coat and if you're like me and you can't stand waiting, just use a blow dryer to blow dry it. But anyway, all we do is we, we dump this out. This paint's pretty thick. And I use these uh, throwaway brushes and we just paint the whole thing. I usually use vertical strokes or horizontal. Just keep all the strokes the same. A lot of times if we're not going to frame them, I paint the bottom of the of the canvas too. But anyway, that's about it. And then I'll uh, blow dry this, get it dry, and then we uh, we start in with the oils. All right, thank you. Well, I'm back here now. Uh, we've got the canvas; it's dried. Remember, that's acrylic paint. I did want to mention that uh, when I said I taught at the Weston School in Missouri, it's the it's West Platte R2 School in Weston, Missouri. Everybody calls it the Weston High School, but it's really West Platte R2. Anyway, I've got a canvas here. Uh, we've got it black. It's dry, as you can see. It's acrylic paint. Now, these are oil paints that are here. and uh, They're uh, Windsor Newton Winton ones. You buy the big tubes at Hobby Lobby. Get them on sale, too, if you want, usually. Saves a lot of money because I go through a lot of paints. So. Anyway, I kind of put them out on this white background so you can see it. You can use butcher paper, or wax paper, or, or uh, paper like this. I'm going to set this, uh, I'll set these, I'll leave it up here for a minute so you can kind of see what I'm doing. What we do here now is I use a linen, refined linenseed oil. This paint's too thick, so I drip oil on I use the oil pretty liberally. I just pour it on there, then I'm going to lay it flat here out of the way. But basically what you do is you... You get your brush with a lot of oil on it and the paint and you scrub. I'm scrubbing in a blue line in the middle, a blue third, a red third, or a green third, then a red third. And this is a phthalo blue. And I just scrub it in. It's very thin. I use the oil pretty liberally, but you don't want the canvas really, really wet, too wet, but you want it wet. But just a wet, thin coat, if that makes any sense at all. I'm just scrubbing it in there all the way across. Now, this is a pretty bright color, this phthalo blue. All of these colors are. They're a transparent paint, all of these. I'm using phthalo blue, sap green, and lazarium crimson. Anyway, then I'll take some of the blue and scatter it up here towards the middle. All right. And then what I'm going to do is go right into some uh, more linenseed oil onto the brush with green paint. I left the blue on it. But that way we kind of get it grayed down a little bit so it doesn't look so candy apple-y looking or so crazy looking. Uh, I get the green paint and I work it through the middle of the canvas. When I got that coated on there, then I go ahead, take some of the green paint and work down into the blue. 
All right, then when I get some of that blue-green, I will put it up here on top where the red's going to go. Just kind of helps blend some of the colors a little bit. Then I'll put a little more oil on the Lazarian Crimson, and I go right into it. I never clean the brush. If you want a real, real bright, sharp-looking kind of wild painting, clean the brush each time and don't blend any of the colors. I did that a couple weeks ago, and it's my favorite painting uh, this year. But I just scrub this in again. I've got this uh, Lazarian Crimson across the top of the painting. And you can't see this. You're not supposed to. It's just looking wet right now. If you get it colored just right, it's kind of shining and real reflective and doesn't really look like anything. Don't worry about that because the magic starts when you put the white paint on it. So right now it looks like we've kind of got a, just a big old black painting. Like a big black painting with uh, these layers of color. But these layers of colors are there. You can tell it's shiny and wet, probably reflective on the tape, but we'll, uh, we'll start the actual painting on the next videos, but check it out. These are oil paints that I put on here with linenseed oil, pretty thinned out. A, a good decent layer because this uh, black acrylic paint that's on here will suck up a lot of uh, well, some of the moisture here pretty quickly, actually. But I will, you got to start your, your painting within like 20 minutes of doing this, so keep that in mind, but that's your prep work for the painting. You can see the oil, the linen seed oil running off the blue paint there. Basically, uh, what I used here was uh, this white paper, you know, as a palette. But I sprayed it with clear plastic spray first so it doesn't soak all in. As you can tell, nothing's soaking in. There's the, uh, the prep work, a little bit more detailed on it. There's the actual canvas. we got blue on the bottom, green in the middle, Lazarian crimson, sap green, and phthalo blue on the bottom. A nice, thin, pretty wet layer, but plenty of paint. It's still thin, but, you know, I've got it on there pretty good because I'm going to uh, be a while before I start the actual painting for the actual video. But there's the prep work.